we have discussed about one tail and we have also discussed about two tail when it came to our Z distribution. If there are a pool of students and if you randomly choose a student, what is the probability that the GMAT score would be greater than 740? If this is a kind of question that you're solving, then you're trying to look into one tail, right tail. If I randomly choose a student from a pool of students, students, what is the probability that the GMAT score of the student would be less than 680? When you're trying to solve these kind of problems, it is called as one tail. In this scenario, it is one tail towards the left. And if you want to find out the probability that a student's GMAT score happens to be greater than 697 and less than 740. In this scenario, it is called as a two-tail representation because you want greater than and less than. So you are putting in two conditions here. Hence, it is called as two-tail. All right. As part of hypothesis testing, we will be solving four case studies each pertaining to one of these tests that you're seeing here. And we will look into the case study and try to identify what is Y and what is X. If Y is continuous and X is discrete in two categories, you go with two sample T tests. If Y is continuous and X is discrete in more than two categories, we go with ANOVA one way. Of course, what is two-way, what is multi-way, we are going to discuss. If both Y and X are discrete, and if you have X which is discrete in two categories, then you, pro you proceed with the two-proportion test. If both Y and X are discrete, and if X has more than two categories, then you proceed with chi-square test. We will be frequently revisiting this particular slide. And one more thing, whenever your Y is continuous and X is discrete, we tend to always refer to this particular flowchart. Yeah. And I'm going to explain about all of these things in short. All right. Let us look into the first case study pertaining to the two sample T test. Here is a case study. A financial analyst at a financial institute wants to evaluate a recent credit card promotion. Right? After the promotion, 450 cardholders were randomly selected. Half received an ad promoting a full interest rate waiver and another half received a standard Christmas promotion or advertisement. Did the ad promoting full interest rate waiver increase the purchases, yes or no? This is what you're trying to solve now. 